it's Abergonia and I'm here with my second tutorial. So in my previous tutorial I started you guys out with touching up on the characters, outfits, and I showed you guys the opening page for the script. So we are going to continue and in this tutorial we are going to do some basic coding for your characters, for your script and your story. So we're going to press continue episode. Okay, so it's the same thing as the previous um, tutorial. This portion will always be there whenever you open up a new script, so you can delete it or leave it or change the dialogue if you need to. So this um, title, INT Black Dash Knight, that is your background for this portion of the script. So INT means um, interior and other backgrounds will start with EXT which means exterior. So let me show you that right now. So we'll go to pa places <laughs> and click on place catalog. And there you go. There are tons and tons of backgrounds to choose from for your story. I'm trying to go down, but it won't go down. Okay. Eh. Come on. Okay. So, like I was saying, interior is inside the Italian restaurant, and exterior would be outside in the garden. So, yeah, that's what it means. And over here, you can check the clothing, exteriors, interiors day, night, or you can choose a specific thing you want. You can search for it, you can go to your overlays and backgrounds, which I will talk to you guys about later in another tutorial. So we'll go back to our script. So we are going to delete that and choose a um, background. Let's choose a simple background. We'll search for a room and we'll just choose okay we'll just choose a ballroom so you're going to want to copy it and paste it onto your script so now your opening scene will be inside the castle ballroom so to make Jen enter in you would want to put at Jen enters from oops, from left to screen and you either have an um, option for screen left, up screen left, screen center, up screen right, or screen right. There are other positions as well, and we will get into that later on, but this is um, the basics for coding. So you can either make her enter from the left or the right. So if you wanted to enter from the right, you would put enters from right to screen blank. So I'll make her enter to screen right. So what this would look like is just Jen entering from left to right. And right now she's facing right. So we would want her to face left. So if you want her to face left, you would put at Jen faces left. And now she just faces left. So now we want Matt to come in. You would just do the same thing. At Matt enters from left to screen left. So now they are in front of each other, facing each other. So to make them interact, you would want um, to make them have dialogues. So we'll make Jen say the first thing. She would greet him. So you put at, or not at, but you would... Um, Press tab twice and you put Jen and it turns blue because it works for your script. You put space, open parentheses, then you would go down here if you're new to coding and you would choose an animation that works for your character. So if you wanted to, um, what would you want it to do? What we'll is just make her talk greet. 
There's a whole bunch of other animations you can make her do, such as talk flirt, talk gesture, talk hands on hips, talk happy, talk smile, a whole bunch you can just choose from. And if you want her to talk happy with um, smiling, you would just change this to that. So we'll make her say, hey. And Matt will reply with, and talk, happy, smile. So as you can see, after you put talk and an underscore, there's also a drop down menu you can choose from. So we'll choose happy smile. Oops. And you'd close the parentheses. And if it's blue and then green, that means your coding is correct. And he'll just say, hey back. <laughs> this is basic, so we don't need um, extra dialogue. And yeah, from there, um, if we want Jen to think something in a speech bubble, we can put Jen, open parentheses, thinks, or just put think. You can put think or think loop. We'll make her just think close parentheses and to make a speech bubble you would just open a parentheses and we'll make her think he's cute close parentheses so adding a parentheses for your dialogues um that's basically just making your character think in a, um in their speech bubble instead of them saying it out loud kind of thing so I'll just ask We'll make Matt to ask if they want to go get something to eat. Talk, shrug, and you put, want to get lunch. Oops. And we'll just, and for a character to do something without any dialogue, you just put at Jen is then your animation. So if Jen wants to, we'll just say, She's going to nod. And, um, yeah, so right now she's just uh, nodding. Usually what I do in my scripts is after they do an animation without any dialogue, I add pause for a beat so that the animation prolongs a little bit before moving on to the next dialogue or to the next animation. And well, right now, so we'll move on and we'll make them exit out screen right. So it's for them to exit out. You put at Jen exit screen or er, exits right. And if you want Jen and Matt to exit out together, you would put and Matt exits right. But if you want Jen to exit right first and then Matt, you would add on the bottom of Jen, you'd put Matt exits right so this means Jen exits first and then Matt but if you add the um, and Matt exits right they both exit right together simultaneously so yeah um, Another thing you can do is um, when they're exiting or entering, you can make them walk happy, walk on the phone, or run off screen or on screen. So how you would do that is we would take this out first, and we would put Jen exits right. And if you want Jen to run off screen, for example, you would put and Jen exits right or no sorry and Jen is run athletic or jog you can pick one I usually do athletic so I'd pick athletic right now so there you go so how this would look like is just Jen running off screen um running off right to the right <laughs> I didn't know how to phrase that but yeah so if you want Matt and Jen to run off together, you would just add the same thing. And Matt exits right. And Matt is run athletic. 
But if you want Matt to run off screen after Jen, you take the and out, put it on the line under, and just put the at. And that makes them both run off screen. Mm -hmm. Another thing for dialogues is that, um, we'll go back up to here. So, after the hey, the line under, if you put, how are you doing? This will continue Matt's dialogue. So, he'll put hey, and then it'll end the speech bubble, and then a user would have to click on the speech bubble, and then it'll still be on Matt, and he would say, how are you doing? Realistically, it would look kind of weird because by the time he's done saying hey, the animation would have been done. So you would want to separate it, and you'd want to put Matt again, and add another one, and or an another animation, and you would put, um, what should we put? We'll just make him talk for it. <laughs> and you would do that for a separate animation. Sometimes, if the animations are long enough, you can do um, multiple lines under each other, such as doing like this. But um, usually, animations aren't long enough or their mouth stops moving. <laughs> so you would want to add another line, such as... And if you add a space after or under the name and then the dialogue, it's not going to work out. So make sure there's no space under the character's name. Um, another cool thing about this, um, when you're editing your script, you can see an I next to the animations. If you would want, if you don't know how an animation looks like, you would want to click that, and this pops up and it shows you so it's just Jen walking and if you want for example you don't know how um, scream looks like you just click the eyeball and it shows you and it's just gonna loop on and on so you can see it but um, a lot of these animations don't loop unless they have the word loop in them such as sing pop loop so you just want to click X on that. Under you would have script templates, which we would talk about in a later tutorial. Here you can see your characters and your outfits. Also your um, overlays, your places, and sounds. And it's both the same thing as the animations. If you want to see your characters because you forgot how they look like, possibly, you would click the eye and it would open up another tab and you could see your characters from there. Or if you forgot how a outfit looks like, you would click the eye and it would show you how the outfit looks like. So yeah, that's just the basics of um, coding, entering, exiting, dialogues, and everything. And in the next uh, tutorial, we'll go more into advanced kind of <laughs> I think it's advanced uh, coding, but we'll start slowly and hopefully you guys get it. So, see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye!